Hey everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for today's weekly vlog. Uh. It's Monday, so I don't really know exactly what for today's weekly vlog update I could give you at this point, but I'm, I'm gonna vlog for the week, which is a nice little change. It's actually 6 p.m. I'm getting like the latest, or I just I had the latest start to my day today. Today started with thinking my credit card got hacked. It turns out it didn't, which thank God. Just a lot of weird stuff has happened today that just kept on like pushing me back and pushing me back. I got some bad news today. It's been like a weird, weirdly kind of heavy day, not to transmit that, you know, I'm holding this back from you so it doesn't transfer through the screen, but I was supposed to go get groceries today and there's no way with the amount of stuff that I'm still planning on getting done today that that can happen. So I'm gonna get groceries. I'll do it with you guys, but we'll do it tomorrow morning in the vlog, which will probably only be like four minutes from now in the vlog. I've just been doing a lot of stuff on my computer. I went for a run this morning. Bentley and I went for a nice long walk. And now I'm just sitting here trying to kind of like anchor my energy and really just feel out this heaviness so that it doesn't keep affecting me if that makes any sense so I guess I'll start there for today's vlog like things are out of my control big things big things that I was like researching today and I just feel a little bit of like a clench in my chest and locked energy I guess you might say so before I get on with the rest of the stuff I have to do which is pretty much filming I did all of my computer and editing work today already I'm just gonna take a few minutes to kind of go through my own calming rituals. I brought my journal down. Lately, I've been enjoying jazz when I'm feeling really anxious, so I'm gonna put on some nice jazz music. I'm just gonna like close off my laptop, take a few seconds to sit in silence and stare out the window. There's a lot of clouds in the sky right now. Anchor myself, journal, and just kind of let however I'm feeling come out onto the paper so that it stops blocking me from getting more things done. You know, shit happens when you party naked, except I haven't been partying naked and shit is still happening. Anyway, that's my long ass explanation. I didn't wanna start this vlog tomorrow because I really do wanna start picking up my camera every day again and just updating you guys. So let's hit it with that calling B roll. Can I just show you how glam I'm looking right now for the grocery store? Looking like a straight up princess doing my domestic duties. It's actually just laundry day, so I don't have anything that's loose and comfortable aside from this maxi dress. So we're finally getting groceries, fam. That's a blessing. I have been really off lately, like with my stomach and stuff. I think that it's mainly due to stress, I'm assuming. I'm also about to have a sister moment right now, but I am like a week, no, I'm like two days away from my period, so I'm like extremely like hangry and emotional and just hypersensitive physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, all the things, but that's okay. Um, because I'm also feeling highly inspired to pick up a lot of healthy foods today. Like I said, oh, oh, green light. Yes, 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 yes. Um, the last, like, I want to say last week, I literally survived off of Uber Eats. So this, this has got to change this week. I, I lasted through the weekend. And then on this weekend, I picked up, have you guys ever had Beyond Meat burgers? Because they're amazing. And I picked those up this weekend and basically lived off of barbecue dinners and waffle fries and it was amazing. But I don't know, I feel like that mixed with drinking more than usual this weekend. I just feel like my stomach's a little off. So I've heard this theory and I don't know if it's true. I feel like I need to do some research, but I heard a theory that every other cycle that you go through as a woman is different. So it's like you release an egg from either side, your left side or your right side. But I read that 
like every other period is the same. If you've ever noticed that, let's say, one cycle is super easy, like you don't really get any symptoms or emotional, but then all of a sudden, like a month later, it seems like you're getting all of the symptoms and like all of like the bloating and like the crampiness and like all of just all of that. And then the month after that, it's like no symptoms again. And then the month after that, it's like all your symptoms. Something like that would pretty much explain what I'm trying to say. But this is the first week post Luna. The mood is definitely let's get back on our cooking game. Wednesday I am about to head out and go to see a naturopath I decided to walk today 35 minutes away so I'm gonna pop my airpods in and just go for a nice long walk I was supposed to go for a run today but my body's feeling really sore and I'm just kind of feeling generally a little bit more tired you know I think it's also too like I mentioned I'm supposed to get my period late today or tomorrow so I'm just feeling really tired I'm feeling pretty tired so I'm hoping that going for a walk is gonna help and I'm really excited to go see this naturopath once I get back, I'm going to basically film the end of Fitness Friday, which would have went live on the Friday uh, just before you guys are seeing this. So I'll pop it up on the screen if you guys want to hear about, you know, going to a naturopath and what happened there. But we're kind of like, you know, it's like a two in one today because this side of the camera or the vlog world or the, you know, weekly Wednesday, I'm just going to share the walk. Anyway, let's get to it. So I forgot to film an outro to this vlog and I just was finishing editing it and kind of trying to piece together exactly the theme because I feel like that's kind of the, the mishap with picking up my camera and just updating you guys every day and showing you little bits of b-roll for my everyday is that then I'm kind of like 
what's the theme? Which honestly, I know these are my favorite to edit and I know that like they're the best or, or in my opinion, like favorite to watch kind of thing. Just for like, you know, title references and thumbnail references, you know, my business brain is always kind of like trying to balance out theming vlogs versus just picking up my camera and vlogging life. I figured I would wrap it up by just giving you guys a little bit of an update on, I mean, we talked about periods, we talked about journaling and stress, we've talked about wellness, going from eating like Uber Eats every day to coming back to grocery land and all of the above. Yesterday, I'll show you. So I've been getting really into bullet journaling again and I feel like that has been a huge saving grace these last few weeks is just feeling like bullet journaling is like the one thing that kind of helps me tie everything together much like I'm talking about tying together this vlog. I feel like lately I've just had such a bullet journaling system. It's been helping me like bring the logic and the emotion of life and everything that's kind of happening right now and just like the cocktail of it and anchoring it somewhere. And I actually made a full like 2020 part two content plan. So like I've already figured out YouTuber and basically every video that's gonna be uploaded between now and 2021, I have scheduled. And then I also did just like a little mini daily weekly schedule that I wanna follow from now until I leave this apartment. Once I leave this apartment, it'll be really hard to follow this. Um, and I'm going to the East Coast to visit Larissa for September. But I feel like I've really kind of anchored, <laughs> I guess my wishy-washiness of the last few weeks. I feel like because I'm somebody that likes to control things that likes to like feel like I have everything planned out like I don't necessarily love surprises unless they're the, the good kind I've been going through, through just like waves of just feeling massively optimistic and inspired and then feeling just like this week that you just saw where like especially if my hormones start to take a play with it like if I'm starting to get my period and things like that it's like I go from like here to way down here this year has been such an emotional challenge. I feel like lately I've been reading comments and things about how perhaps um, I talk about things a little bit too objectively and I totally understand that. I know that this year has been difficult for everybody and in totally different ways and everybody's experience of 2020 has been subjective. Kind of caused us to look inward this year and just as somebody that is posting online I find that I'm kind of struggling. I can only really share my life and my perspective and my like point of view on things because that's all I'm able to really see life through, you know? And what am I getting at? What's the point? Get to the goddamn point. It's been a difficult year for everybody in some capacity and in one way or another. And with that obviously comes things like stress. And I feel like there's so many different ways for us to like react, right? It's like, sometimes you are emotionally resilient. Sometimes you have to just like feel it first and like heal it first. And then other times it's almost like that in between where you can like turn off the emotional side of life. And I have so much respect for people that can do that, but that is just like not who I am. It's like impossible for me not to feel my emotions. So using practical, routine habits lately have been really helping me to just like be able to to feel and heal but still get things going to still keep going day by day to still get you know to feel some sense of competency and accomplishment on the day to day without getting too lost in the feeling and the healing because I do think that this year for me in particular it's come with a lot of feeling and a lot of healing you guys i feel like know at this point that i get very i feel things i feel things very deeply and so yeah just these little things are kind of keeping me going they're keeping my engine running anyway um i guess that's the theme of this vlog is it's really just kind of like it doesn't necessarily need to be some big theme it's just the theme of like the little things that keep a sense of familiarity in your day-to-day -day and a sense of structure in the day-to-day -day, despite no matter what else is kind of going on, you know? And taking time to like appreciate those moments where you feel inspired or you feel like you kind of get lost in something and it makes you just kind of forget about all the things you're stressing about or forget about all the things you're like feeling and just like emote or to express it in some way. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog strictly out of curiosity because I am getting that structure down. Do you guys prefer the vlogs like this where I pick up the video camera every day and just kind of show little bits and pieces? Or do you prefer the vlogs that have a set theme and structure and it's like I only really film one day of the week? Let me know. And aside from that, I love you guys all the way to Proxima being back and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.